I just want to do a follow-up video on the printing issues I was having when I was doing some custom profiles with the Color Monkey Photo. Um, you saw in the last video that I had a print that I did that the colors were completely off after creating a profile via the Color Monkey. So what I ended up doing was I, I reached out for some help and I uh, spoke to uh, Jose Rodriguez from his channel and he basically told me uh, to do a couple things. One is um, in the Color Monkey Photo software there's a setting which I think defaults to v V4 version 4 of, of color profiling and um, there's another setting uh, version 2. So he told me to switch that to version 2 and he also told me to be careful when doing the uh, Color Monkey profiling that when you scan the first uh, swatch of colors there when it finishes that process and asks you to uh, do the same thing for another set of colors you really got to go back into the printer driver and make sure color matching is turned off and reset up all your settings so I don't know exactly if it was switching the profile version on Color Monkey or if it was just by mistake the first time I did it around when I was printing off the second test sheet I didn't go back and check my printer settings for color matching anyways if you guys are going to be doing this just be careful set the Color Monkey software to version 2 and I'll show you that right now. So here is the Color Monkey software. I couldn't get the menu to open up properly in my recording software. But if you go to the file menu, uh, once you open the Color Monkey photo color software, file menu preferences, you'll see this window here. Just make sure that the tone response curve 2.2 default, ICC profile version version 2, not version 4. Mine set, was set to version 4 by default and also the ICC profile version here set to 2, not version 4. It seemed that my software came with all version 4 defaulted. I switched these over, saved these settings, and uh, you should be good to go if you have this. And also, when printing, when scanning the, um, the palette here with the Color Monkey, after the first one is done, go in, make sure the settings are 100% uh, when you print off the second swatch. If you do that, you should be good to go. Um, my results came out uh, perfect this time, actually better than I was expecting. So there you go guys, if you're going to print, just keep those things in mind. I'll see you in the next one.